In this tutorial, we will learn about the Songs icon. This is where your entire song library resides. So yeah, it's kind of a big deal. Go ahead and click on the Song icon. The first thing you'll notice is the Search function. Go ahead and play around with that a little bit. Let's show you a few of the features. There's a number of ways to filter what you see. You can filter by theme. Pulls up any of the songs in those themes. As you can see, there's a reset filter button. Brings you right back to where you were. You can filter by key, if you've assigned keys to the songs. You can search by song title or even song information. Go ahead and just start typing with your keyboard. And as you can see, as you type, it uh, brings up songs that match what you're typing. You can search uh, just anywhere in the title or an exact match to the title. If you're using a touch screen, you can uh, search just by uh, touching the letters. Very flexible search capabilities. Go ahead and play around with it and you'll see how it reacts to what you type. You can also set the number of songs uh, per page as well. Of course, if you set 100, it might make scrolling really slow. Looking at the information on the screen, you can see the song title, the key that it's in, and the number of parts that it has. And of course, the song can have any number of parts. In fact, we have one on the screen that goes all the way to 11. Taking a look at the buttons on the screen, the plus button adds the song to a playlist if you have an event selected. The pencil lets you edit the song. You can edit the theme. And the minus sign deletes the entire song, including all of its parts. So now let's drill down into the song. Clicking on the pencil. If you have multiple parts, you'll see them all listed here. The default indicates that this is the part that will be displayed by default in either play or practice modes. We can edit the instrument type through the drop-down menu, clicking on the pencil. Click the check mark to accept. And you can preview the song by clicking on the preview button there on the left hand side. It will show the song content downloading. Might take a while if it's a large file. Faster, faster, you fool, you fool. For all of you fans of Bill Cosby from the mid 1960s, it shows that this song has 34 pages. You can use the green buttons to navigate through the pages. You can annotate, make notes on it. You go back to the song information by clicking on the plan icon. You can edit the song information by clicking on the edit song icon. You can add content to this particular song by clicking on the little plus sign, the add content icon. This pulls up a window where you can then click on the browse icon. This takes you to your hard drive or your other external sources uh, where you can then import parts. So that's the basic navigation through the song icon.